There are many useful features of SPSS that can be used to help with analysis and to save your time and effort. I have highlighted a few of the main of them. Let's talk about sorting data. You can ask SPSS to sort your data file according to values on one of your variables, for example, gender or age. Click on the data menu, choose sort cases, and specify which variable will be used to sort by. Choose either ascending or descending, click on OK. To turn your file to its original order, repeat the process asking SPSS to sort the file by ID. Sometimes it is necessary to split your files and repeat analysis for groups separately, for example males and females. This procedure doesn't physically alter your file in any permanent manner. It is an option you can turn on and off as it suits your purpose. The order in which the cases are displayed in the data file will change, however, you can return the data file to its original order by ID or by using the sort cases command described before. Click on the data menu and choose split file option. Click on the compare groups and specify the grouping variable, for example gender, click on OK. And the file is split and you will find the label appeared at the bottom right hand side of the screen, split by gender. For the analysis that you perform after this split file procedure, the two groups, in this case males and females, will be analyzed separately. When you have finished the analysis, you need to go back and turn the split file option off. Click on the data menu and choose the split file option. Click on the first dot, analyze all cases, not create groups, and click on OK. The label on the bottom right hand side of the screen is disappeared now. For some analysis, you may wish to select subsets of your sample, for example, only males. Click on the data menu and choose Select Cases option. Click on the F condition is satisfied button. Click on the bottom labeled F. Choose the variable that defines the group uh, that you are interested in. Let's choose Gender. Click on the arrow button and move the variable names to the box. Click on the equal key from the keypad displayed on the screen. Type in the value that corresponds to the group you are interested in. For example, males in the sample are coded 1, therefore you would type in 1. The command line should read gender equal 1. Click on continue and then OK. You will find the label at the bottom right hand side of the screen, filter on also slashes on the unselected case numbers. For the analysis that you will perform after the select case procedures, uh, for example correlation, only the group that you selected will be included, in this case males. When you have finished the analysis, you need to go back to turn the select cases option off, otherwise it will be apply uh, to all analysis conducted. Let's do that. Click on data menu and choose select cases option. Click on the first All Cases option and click on OK. And now the slashes is disappeared and the label on the bottom right hand side is disappeared also. With large data files, this can be pain to have to scroll through lots of variable names in SPSS dialog boxes to reach the one that you want to analyze. SPSS allows you to, to define the use uh, sets of variables. This is particularly useful in the survey for edsave file. Let's open it for a second. File menu, open, data file, then I'll select the survey for edsave data file. In this file, there are lots of individual items that are added to give total scores, which are located at the end of the file. In the following example, I will establish a set that include only the demographic variables in the scale totals. Click on the utilities from the menu and choose define variable sets. Choose the variable you want in your set from the list include ID, the demographic variables, sex through its uh, to smock number and then all the totals at the end of the data files from total optimism onwards.
move this into the variable and set box. In the box set name, type an appropriate name for your set. I'll call it totals. Click on add set button and then close. To use the sets you have created, you need to activate them. Click on utilities and on uh, use variable sets. In this list of variable sets, take the set you have created, totals, and then go up and untick the all variable option, and this will display all variable. Leave new variable selected, click on OK. With the set activated, only the selected variable will be displayed on the data file and the dialog box used to conduct statistical analysis. To turn this off, click on utilities and on use variable sets, Click on the all variables option and click OK. You may need to save some descriptive comments with the data file. The SPSS allows this. Select utilities and data file comments, type in your comments and if you would like them recorded in the output file, click on the option display comments in output. Comments are saved with the data they were made. When the data file displayed in the data editor window, the numerical values for all variables are usually shown. If you would like the value labels, for example males and females, displayed instead, go to the view menu and choose value labels. To turn this option off, go to the view menu and click on value labels again to remove the tech. Also you can switch this from here. 